point blank Do no subliminal dissing When I listen, I can tell you never been on no mission Sticking to the script, don't care if I offend you Neighborhood crib, the marathon continue I overlook continue. my competition, never seeing him I done drained my mind that I'm going You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss A east side millionaire, on me what you thought My life is a movie They can't get close to me They mad cause they can't be I'm everything that they wanna be Yeah Hustle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All he that. got locked up right away. He really had the Constitution for us, and they was really forming it like on some Washita branch with the Republic of California. Like, way deep science that I didn't even know after even doing all these years of study stuff. I really learned even when I was putting the book together. You know what I mean? That they, we, we actually had the Constitution, bro, written by a man that's named Danifu Kareem Bay. And we took it down to the city. To get it signed in, we was like going to be a real incorporated entity, bro. And they, as soon as Raymond Washington got locked up, that's when all the beef, you know, it ain't nothing coincidence. You feel what I'm saying? That's when they killed off all the uh, Black Panthers, Bunchy Carter and them in 69 by 72. Look, that's the crazy first Crips was calling each other blood. You feel what I'm saying? That's, it was all that's crazy, crazy because an old nigga yesterday in the store hit me up and wanted to tell me his homie, Mac Thomas, really started the Crips. And then he was in jail. And Tookie and Raymond once ran with it, but it was an old nigga from Spooktown tried to tell me that his homie, like, man, my homie Mac Thomas, he really started crypting. He just told me that yesterday in the smoke shop. I'm like, this shit crazy. And here you I come, mean, here I you could come say with this. knowledge. History. I could say this. He's more talking about a name or an ideal. Now, the actual boots on the ground that took this and they turned the abbreviation to Community Revolutionary Interparty Services. You know, we got the 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 fly shit in, in Revolution in Progress. That's all, you know what I mean? They call this Community Revolutionary Interparty Services, where each hood was going to be a representative and we all were together, including the Bloods that was there already, the Pyrus and all that. We, this was for all of us. The conflict came because they wasn't trying to really join in with the Interparty Services. You feel me? Uh, two years in, I'll say three years in. First of all, let's talk about how it started. Bunchy Carter was part of Slauson Boys. So some of these first hoods, the ones that had homies and uncles and all that, that was Black Panthers that was actually feeding the kids, walking around with the information. Don't forget, they trying to separate the, the knowledge from the toughness. You got to be on your secure shit, just like an FOI. So we was actually down with having the leather jackets and the guns. We was proud to be like that. You know, Bunchy Carter was like one of the hardest niggas of the Black Panthers of the whole country, bro. We the only ones that had a four-hour shootout. On 41st and Central, they created SWAP because of us, bro. We come from a real legacy, a proud, a proud <laughs> legacy, bro. We not playing. Like, get your blue Bible, man. You feel what I'm saying? Tap in with me. So we actually had a four-hour shootout with the police, not because we was on some gangster shit like now, like we just want to be hard after police. Revolutionary. They was beating on us, the bro. Ground. They was Speaking beating on us. The reason why yeah. you have an arm by the, by yeah, the by they was according to the Constitution. But I'm right. saying, why was he do was we doing this? We gotta understand they was beating on us for feeding the kids. We used to feed over seventy thousand children for free every morning. Could you imagine that? Look how LA is now, where we beat each other up and clown each other for having some bad shoes and steal each other jack. Nigga, we was feeding the kids every morning. You know, what type of love and unity that creates for you. You ain't out here killing niggas all day and robbing them all day after you just fed them. Oh, that's a little whoopty whoop, son. How could I slap them and feed them? Even if we got a beef, we are gonna try to figure it out. You feel me? And we gonna make it a fantasy like niggas was all cool. So. Once it got to a couple conflicts, because what I talk about in this book that people don't talk about is Chicago was out here already. You know, you you were aware the Stones already had, a, you know, T. Rogers and them. So it was a lot of conflict because the, they had they structure. And what people don't know is Jeff Fort, who was over all the Stones, he was already fucking with Gaddafi and Libya. He was on some higher, higher level shit, fucking with Africa and all that. So they was trying to implement their thing on this, like, y'all need to get down with this. And we like, man, we got our own thing with the crib. We got our constitution. So in 72, when he, when 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 Washington is locked up, bro, you know, you've been doing this longer than me. We ain't got no speeches of Raymond. We ain't got no speeches of Raymond. Bro, we the ones that they really did us under, bro. Like all these other groups, they got done, but we ain't even got our constitution. They white wiped our shit out through the 70s and 80s. They came, they dropped all the crack off here first. Like all, not no disrespect to any other cities, but 
the stories you hear in other cities, like they did like this. And we just we we went through that first, bro. They, you know what I'm saying? They did freeway Rick hit this nigga with hunt all these pounds and pounds and pounds of cocaine. He wasn't even from no gang. They got this nigga feeding the gang bangers. You think niggas ain't pulling up to get fronted by him so we can get this money? That, bro, they they put this in motion to deteriorate because what they don't want to talk about, Bobby Seal and Huey P. Newton started it. But Bunchy Carter, our apprentice Bunchy Carter, was the sickest Black Panther there was. Who else had a four-hour shootout with the police back at the time when they was walking down the street spitting on niggas talking about, yes, sir, yes, sir, boss. You feel me? So that's the crip. The crip stayed on there because even once I got enlightened, I refused to let go of that 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 in, that integrity they instilled in us, that pride they instilled in us. I just realized that we had to redirect it. Why stop being a loke? You know what I mean? We're gonna we gonna keep loking, but we're gonna stop doing it for to beat up a dude's daughter or beat up a dude's son. You feel what I'm saying? Right. We're doing it for righteousness, but we still need that power though. You feel what I'm saying? That that right. uh, that uh that willingness to defend yourself no matter what. What we learned in the pen that when you see a anybody touch one of your own, whether you're blood, Mexican or whatever, you hop up and get. You feel what I'm saying? And then even etymologically, if niggas want to go extra deep, because I see you like to work the vernacular and all that, crypt is etymologically means crypt. It's something that's dead, but it's not just something that's dead in the ground. A crypt is usually like a shrine of an ancestor waiting to be resurrected. You feel what I'm saying? Mm, so I never you know what I mean? That. So when you put right. the Jesus in, now a lot of dudes think I'm making fun of Jesus. No, actually, first of all, like the brother said, that letter wasn't there. But however, I'm not even here to argue about the letter. I'm here to show and prove. I put it as the last name because as this book shows and proves through my journey through prison and even with Crippen, because when I joined the 5% Nation, because I was still tied in with the hood, they put me with a certain guy body dude that was out the 60s. He flew me out to Detroit and we was going around the whole country. You know how it would be with the guys. We ain't just no square. So we hustling, doing our thing and I'm learning shit that I could never even imagine. I'm pulling up in some of these areas that I'm reading about. I'm pulling up reading these Arabs and doing deals with them and all that. Like, oh, this shit real. You know what I'm saying? This nigga not only tapped in on some knowledge shit, this nigga got the, got the plays, got the burners. Like, put it like this, bro. I was fucking with the guys. Got some choppers. I was staying with this broad over here on Broadway and 103rd. Let's see how the Crip and the Jesus mixes in, right? Now, check this out. Me being a 5%er, member of the 5% Nation of Guys and Earth, where we teach that the black man is God, right? So, I've been to Harlem, New York, teaching in the class and all that. So, I claim the name Jesus, but also I put it as a last name because Jesus had brothers and sisters and the mother, and that's this tribe that's lost over here in North America. We're not knowing who he is. We part of that family. We part of them lost tribes that came from them lands, you know, in the Middle East where Jesus was from and got ran up out of there. So I talk about that all through this book, how these gangs is really the last branches of them tribes. That's why we call each other cousin in blood. All right. And that's why we have uh, connections through the T. Rogers and Jeff Ford. No, this ain't by mistake. While Raymond Washington goes back to Bunchy Carter in the first Black Panthers, they want to wipe that all out your mind. Think it's just dickies and crip walking and dancing that's our culture but they ain't got to do with our history which is his story but the mystery is my story that's what this book is the mystery all the shit that you can't get out them books you feel me so wow i Jesus, never i never even noticed the mystery in my story i know the his story history but my story mystery i never me? caught that that's See, look it when you go google guy straight legend google guy Google gang, Google gang, gang You better keep that shit of Google when you mention me. First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her girl It's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google, better keep it a Google. Keep that shit Google when you mention me. First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her girl It's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google, you better keep it a Google. Show us a blessing. blessing. Pull up politic and blow us a session. Spot a local most easy. On the stake in the station. They making them statements. We waking and baking. Word of the day, EC on replay. The marijuana thon with VJ Keyway. BS and BS. Killing on the track in the black box. We never put feelings over facts. Pay Machiavelli, run me the bread. I don't get mad, I get money instead. I be high, you can tell by a nigga eyes. But wise enough to enterprise, you dig a lies. Contemplating with the Google gang, 
conversating. Counting coins while these cowards in the comments hating. Only thing count, my count getting another comma. I'm a magnet to the money on my mother mama. Better keep that shit up Google when you mention me. First sign of the respect, I'm turning her girly. It's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google, better keep it a Google. Keep that shit Google when you mention me. First sign of the respect, I'm turning her girly. It's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google, you better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. You better keep it a Google. Better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. Can't keep it a Google, then don't mention me. Run a check through the set, I bet them niggas mention me. Red Bull and Hennessy, I keep the same energy. No matter on a solo or a couple homies with me. Tell them come get me if they want confrontation. I keep a couple shooters with me. And we right here waiting on shit to pop off. Take a nigga top off, you tempt me. All that BS, you can miss me. Slide down century, doing about 60 in the gutter lane. Faded off yak and drop the pistol, hopping out the rain. I won't change, keep it a Google, the only way. To me, I come out and play, that's on the gang We are not the same, I ain't nothing like these rap niggas Hanging with bangers, no bodyguards, we all strapped nigga. All truth, no lies, facts over feelings We ain't gonna start so we can't finish Google gang Better keep that shit up Google when you mention me First sign of the respect, I'm turning her girl It's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace Keep it a Google, better keep it a Google Keep that shit Google when you mention me First sign of the respect, I'm turning her girl Sniper and that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPR, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All that. No subliminal dissing. When I listen, I can tell you never been on no mission. Sticking to the script, don't care if I offend you. Neighborhood crib, the marathon. I overlook my competition, never seeing him. I done train my mind that I'm going. You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss. A east side millionaire, homie, me what you thought. My life is a movie. They can't get close to me. They mad cause they can't be. I'm everything that they wanna be. Yeah.